So this one here, jumping straight to the question in a word problem. I mentioned that earlier, and here's why. If I skim the question, it says right here, how many students are in the class? So I'm already kind of keeping that in the back of my head. How many students are in the class? How many students? Okay. Now, ratios, ratio of boys to girls, the order does matter. Boys is first, girls is second. Therefore, the two represents boys and the five represents girls. Sorry about the background noise. If you can hear that, we have a big dog barking, but boys to girls, two to five. So two over five. I am setting up this ratio as a fraction. The two represents the boys. The five represents the girls. So kind of going back to proportions, you know, so uh, here I got boys up top, girls down here at the bottom. If we set this equal to, well, let's see what we have next in the problem. There are 30 girls. So since girls was down here, I'm going to put the 30. And what are we going to be finding here in this proportion? This is where you have to be careful. The only thing I'm solving for is the number of boys. Now, if we cross multiply and divide, remember that quick way. Go ahead and ask yourself, what number is going to be multiplied by the variable? The five is. That's what you're going to want to divide by. So let's go ahead and multiply the two by 30. That's going to give us 60. Immediately, go ahead. Don't waste time. Don't write this down. You need to get, you need to get these seconds back. Immediately divide by five and we get 12. Here's the deal though. You see that answer choice, yet maybe it's still kind of lingering in the back of your head. How many students, not how many boys? So this is just the boys. We need to add on those 30 girls. Whoops. 30 boys, add on the 30, 12 boys, add on the 30 girls. We have a total of 42 students because it said how many students are in the class. So don't let that one little itty bitty word there um, cause you to get this one wrong. Brandon, so is that like really paying attention to that last part? What's the actual question asking yep. and, and not getting caught up in the first part of it and just looking for a ratio? Um, that, that's exactly right. Yeah. It, and it, so sometimes jump into the question, whatever that question is asking, it's kind of sticking in the back of your head. Perhaps it says how many students it didn't say how many boys. And a lot of people will get that B equals 12 or X equals 12. And they're like, Oh, I see that answer. I'm going to pick it. And then that could have been easily have been a problem that you could have gotten right instead of you got it wrong. So is there anything for that? I mean, just make sure you're rereading the question once or twice or the last part of the question to make sure you're really understanding what exactly it's asking for before making your selection and moving to the next question. Ab absolutely. And that's something that I find uh, some people don't do. They, they'd be like, they see an answer and they jump to that one. And I understand why. I mean, you're in this time crunch mm -hmm. and you see an answer. You're like, oh, I got this right. But yeah, if, if you can sacrifice a few more seconds and go back and read it again. Even after you read it first, how many students yet all we know here is boys. So we had to add on that 30. Yeah, that's tough. You're trying to move as fast as you can, but that's how you get tripped up by moving too fast. Absolutely.